Okay, so this is a fun nail tutorial on cupcake nails and candles. I don't want to neglect the candles, but um, yeah, it's actually my birthday in just a few days, so I'm doing this ahead of time, and I love chocolate and cupcakes and purple, so I just put them all together. So if you want to know how I did this, keep watching. Okay, so the colors that I'm using are for my accent nails sinful colors tokyo pearl and with a glitter top coat pure ice don't you wish and then for the chocolate part of my chocolate cupcake I'm using lady godiva by Essie and my favorite color is purple so I'm using sinful colors let's talk and that's my favorite purple. It's like one of my favorite colors. And such feet will be on all of them, but that's my top coat. And then for my regular nails, I have these different cupcake colors. Just a hot red. This is old. 75 by Theons. Yeah, you can get any hot red with that. Wet and Wild, Wild Shine, Sunny Side Up. And then Sinful Colors, Why Not? It's pretty blue. Another Sinful Colors Exotic Green. And then this very bright pink. I don't, it's not showing on camera, but it's a very bright pink. 24-7. Um, and then Pure Ice. Excuse me. And just to have an equal playing field, because some of the colors are shiny, I put a matte top coat by OPI so that it kind of looks a little more cupcakey even though I'm gonna put such feet on all of them anyway so yeah I already put on my base coat and my base color so now I'm going to put chocolate sprinkles on the colored nails and then we'll do the design nails after Okay, so for the candles, I'm just using the same purple as the frosting and making three lines. I understand this is not perfect. I do not recommend using the nail polish bottle brush just because it is obviously not this thin. So, um, nail art brushes would be great or maybe... A regular paintbrush, if you thin it out and just like cut out some of the strands, that'll work too. Um, they're like at Walmart. And I'm doing them in a three tier thing, so it's kind of like a cake, but not totally. With one longer one in the middle. And yes, I realize these are slanted, but hey, maybe that makes them more fun. <laughs> trying to like fill it in so that it's really opaque and oh boy if you ever mess up it's always good to have nail polish remover nearby so that you can quickly fix it and I'm going to clean this up just a little bit sorry this is kind of off camera I'll show you what I'm doing um, just dip the brush or whatever you're using as cleanup in a nail polish remover and just swipe that away. Ta-da! The candles are no longer connected. So once you're done fixing it, or however you got it, I'm taking the same yellow that I used on my nail and I'm going to use that for the flame. So, uh, just clean my brush off a little bit more, and here we go. Dip it in the yellow, and just make a little slash. And this yellow is a little too glittery. I might have to do something to it, because it's not really showing. Um, I have a deeper yellow here. Sinful Colors Nail Art Striper. Maybe I could just use that by itself. Hopefully. 
I don't want too much paint on there because that would really mess us up. Let's see. Yeah, that's much better. As you can see, I'm really just going along with this, like, as I go <laughs> learning. And then this one. I'm not the best, but I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm not really trying to be the best either, so. Yeah. And there's three little flames on your candles. Well, my candles. And they're a little lopsided, but hey, maybe it makes it more fun. And then, for the cupcake, we are going to use that same brush after we clean it with some nail polish remover. Just like, really have nail polish remover nearby because that'll save you so much time. Um, when you're doing your manicure, just in case. It's always good to have nearby. And I'm taking out a little bit of my Lady Godiva Essie again so that I can make this chocolate cupcake on my thumb. I figured the thumb has the most room, so that's why I'm putting it there. But you could put on your ring finger as well as an accent nail wherever you feel like and I'm just kinda dabbing it on in the shape of a cupcake like the bottom of it and it does not matter how the top looks because I'm gonna go over it anyway with my frosting it's gonna kinda fall over hold on need a little bit more chocolate <laughs> you can never have too much chocolate okay that's a lie but <laughs> That's not really a lie, but it's an exaggeration. <laughs> um, so now I'm just filling it in much deeper. And most people have like outlined their cupcakes like with a to show the liner. But I'm not doing that because I want to create the illusion that um the cupcake is already outside of the wrapper just like ready to be in. So and I'm not taking up the whole bottom of my thumb because I like the background and I kind of want it to show a little bit. So I'm getting close to the shape that I want. I think that's about it. It kind of looks like Reese's from the side. <laughs> and I'm going to take that color off. And get my frosting color, that beautiful purple. This is such a pretty purple. I cannot tell you how much I love it. Um, it's called Let's Talk. I know I said it already, but it is so beautiful. Like, you need to check it out um, in your local Walmart or wherever. It's very, very, very purple. I don't know how to explain it. It's so purple that sometimes if you wear it in the light or Sometimes in the dark, I guess. It looks blue. Like, it changes color. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it looks purple. Sometimes it looks really royal blue. So, yeah. It's a really cool color, though. And shiny and pretty. And very girly, I would have to say. It looks like princess purple. So, I've got my purple. And I'm going to go outline my frosting going over the top of my cupcake and in smaller layers going up and I'm trying to make this kind of straight but kind of uneven and I'm doing a great job at the un then that's pretty much it and you have a nice cup so I just put Setch Feet Dry Fast Top Coat on my accent nails that I finished. And there they are. Candles and cupcakes. So happy birthday to me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this, that you got an idea, inspiration. If you did, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll have all the colors below in the description. And... Um, I hope this helps. If you try this out, let me know by um, tagging me on Instagram and Twitter. 
Um, it's all in the description below, and I hope you come back. Bye! <laughs>